Okay, I think Anil Gupta, Vice President Financial Services, our ratings at ICRA is joining us. Anil, uh, good morning. Thanks for taking our call. The, you know, February 12th, uh, circular is gone. How should we now try and even start to understand the implications for banks uh, and some of these stress tests that they were dealing with? Yeah, hi, good morning. Yeah. So, uh, so this circular, has, basically, we should uh, go to the background and understand the uh, need for this circular. So uh, there was there was a NCLT one list, there was a NCLT two list where the RBI identified the list of borrowers uh, to be uh, to be uh, like doing like where the bank should be uh, taking them to NCLT and do the uh, proceedings under IBC. So with this February 12 circular, what RBI wanted was is basically not to uh, get involved in naming of the borrowers and do this process in an automated way. So the process was automated through this circular whereby if any borrower is overdue in, in its uh, repayments, then uh, the banks, uh, RBA does not need to name them, those people. And uh, the banks were required to do uh, either a resolution plan, get a RP4 rating, or, or you take it to NCLT in case the resolution plan fails. So now with this process, what has happened is this automated process of reference to NCLT or compulsory reference to NCLT, that will go so it will be upon the choice of the banks basically what resolution plan they need to take. They can still have an option like to go to the NCLT in case there is some uh, company where the resolution is not uh, visible except for maybe going through an NCLT proceeding. So the choice continues to remain. But again, uh, we have seen the precedents where NCLT 1 and 2, the accounts are still not, have not seen resolutions in those accounts. So really speaking, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, not a maybe maybe uh, in terms of uh, impact in terms of provisioning or NBAs, not really uh, impact in terms of accounting of the banks. But from the resolution perspective, we expected that there will be some fast tracking of resolutions uh, because uh, uh, promoters will come forward, banks will be eager to implement a resolution plan. So those possibly now will not see a, 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 a st sort of a maybe a sort of a sense of urgency to resolve these assets. Uh, Anil, uh, one more question uh, quickly. Uh, there would be data available. We'd get a sense of what is the uh, you know amount uh, that is uh, in that 180 day period. Uh, you know, so uh, we would know that is be basically the set of SMA accounts that would be potentially going to NCLT and will not anymore. So uh, the federal circular as of now had a timeline of 2000 crores and above accounts which were required to be proceeded under NCLT. Yeah. The accounts which were less than 2000 crores, they were basically a voluntary, like if the banks wanted to do NCLT proceedings against those accounts also, they were free to do so. But for 2000 crores and above, it was compulsory uh, by August uh, uh, 27th or 28th. So that amount of loans were around 3.8 lakh crores across 70 odd large borrowers. But uh, if you have to talk about the overall SMA book uh, of the banks, uh, because uh, SMA it will be something which is not NPA. Now, most of these accounts which were uh, uh, referred, uh, like 2,000 crores and above, which were required to be referred, were already NPA in the banking system as on March 2018. Yes, but they won't. They won't necessarily go to uh, NCLT anymore. So that uh, provision of fifty percent that is attached with the NCLT accounts doesn't hold. Am I right about that? So there was no clarification except for the NCLT one accounts where the banks were required to make a minimum fifty percent provision. Okay. So even for the NCLT two cases, there was no explicit directions from RBI to make a fifty percent provisions. But because the recovery expectations are low, plus the time bound aging provisions have happened, so most of the banks are above fifty percent or even on NCLT two. For NCLT, uh, this uh, February 12 accounts, possibly the banks will be lower than 50% provisioning. But yes, uh, there is no minimum requirement of the provision specified by RBI, except for whatever is coming because of AG, okay. which will be not more than, uh, say, uh, 25 to 30% uh, based on the aging. If some banks have voluntarily done higher provisioning, then uh, that could be there. Okay, Anil, that's, uh, that clarification really helped. Thanks for giving us that quick call. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, Anil Gupta on the banking sector, Vishnath.